Finally at 6, Mike Stevens makes his usual visit to the PhotoLink library now. It's a show he says will have us looking twice. Just Peachy, the title given here by Kathy in Troop. At least for the next little bit, it's how we can all describe our little corner of the world. Oh, you might say things could be better, and they generally can be. Still, there is that promise of good things ahead, as Abby Guardiani shows us here. Here, Chris Patchen offers us summer's best from Williamsport, and we will take that. Let's go and add a few more. Like the critters in this world, they're always interesting. Tom Farina in Hughesville spotted a tiny occupant of a rose. Makes you stop and look twice. Laura Snyder's five-year-old likes looking for bugs and found one in Muncie. A bit of morning grooming here from Frank Saponsik in Wyoming. In for some refreshment to the Eagles mere feeder of Rick Liebert. Mary Jo Kreischer from Catawissa caught a moment in the life of a thirsty, optimistic, never say quit character. Hope you made it. He deserves it. At times we can see a magical moment outdoors and if we're as lucky as Bill Derby's of Landingville, we can capture it. Give all of us a view we missed as does Philly Bob Squires. Samantha Egnatovich at Stillwater Dam in Clifford while fishing with Dad, Sean. Crystal Lake looking fine in the morning. This from John Wabel, Uniondale. Standing tall and proud and worth a long look. This from Linda Reggie in West Pittston. Remember how we thought everything was just peachy earlier? Well, it pretty much is, though for some, work goes on. Carol Sizdek of Barnesville writes, a farmer's work is never done. Ah, but those peaceful moments, like the one captured by Grayson Diefenbacher's son at Huntsville Dam, they are worth looking for and enjoying for the short time they last. I'm Mike Stevens in the PhotoLink Library.